Welcome to May. This is your general reading that will cover the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, the best part of the month, the biggest challenge, and then guidance and give you your crystal of the month that'll help you get through it um, as unscathed and as easy as possible, okay? It'll help you with all the things that you need. So um, this is for your sun sign. Career videos are gonna look like this and they'll come out soon. Um, so make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you know when they come out. They are for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you um, why that is if you're not sure and then love videos come out halfway through the month and this is what they're gonna look like okay so let's get started if you're interested in what decks i'm using for this reading i've got the cosmic tribe tarot looks like this and then the angel prayers oracle by kyle gray um if you purchase them through the affiliate links down below i might get a couple cents which would be helpful in me continuing to make these videos because youtube pays you like I don't know, $20 a year. <laughs> um, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. So I would appreciate that if you're interested in buying a deck. And so, Virgo, the general theme for you is, oh my gosh. They're like, we don't even want to talk about the general theme yet. Okay, they say, first let's talk about the challenges. A big old thing of challenges. First challenge, is to make sure that you're getting enough rest. You know, are you resting enough or are you even getting quality rest? Good questions to ask yourself. Next challenge is, you know, what is the new routine? Do you have like a schedule if you're not working? Um, do, like just kind of knowing what to expect and being okay with that is really, really hard. Um, then the next thing is regulating our emotions. There's gonna be times this month where you have a lot of them and kind of sorting those, sorting through them, just acknowledging that they're there but not really sinking deep into them is gonna be hard. And then when, conversely, there's gonna be times when you feel nothing and then it's gonna freak you out and make you afraid, why do I feel nothing, okay? So um, your feelings are gonna be challenging to regulate this month. Starting conversations and knowing exactly what to say is also going to be hard. Um, and then also interpreting what, other people have to say. Try not to put too much meaning, assume assume too much meaning behind what other people are telling you because you might not be right this month, okay? And so then they say the next biggest challenge, they're saying for some of you, you're gonna just nail this. But for others of you, it's gonna be a challenge, okay? Where it's like, understand that when things change, it's like poof, they change and reality is completely different, okay? And this is in a good way, in a good way. But um, some of you are having a hard time understanding that you know the current vibes aren't permanent, okay? And when they change, they're gonna change um, for the better. Some of you are fully embracing that and others of you, not so much. So back to the general theme of the month, they're just saying it's really hard to um, verbally express a lot of love and gratitude right now. Um, and you know, so I guess I, I don't want to waste too much time talking about the practice on how to do this and you know the benefit of it but in the description box below we can link to my website there's a article and some videos on how to do that um but it's for your benefit and i think that's what you need to be doing so beginning of the month middle of the month and end of the month beginning of the month you should be feeling pretty satisfied with things really hopeful okay that there's um this it's almost like this magical manifestation energy where it's like if you know what you want, if you can like write it down and figure it out, put it out there to the universe, pray for it, not only are you going to get all of these little wishes that you have here, but something bigger and better than you even imagined. They're like, you know, I can't think of two better cards together, honestly. You can get all of these things that you really hope for, that you really desire. You know, whether it's a financial goal, a dream job, um, maybe you wanna get pregnant, maybe you wanna meet the love of your life, all of these different things. You can manifest it into your life in the beginning of the month and you should feel hopeful and assured that you can, okay? Then in the middle of the month, it's like you have all the information you need, but then, you know, at the end of the month, the challenge is being 100% open. Now, a lot of you are slightly open to receive these blessings that you're trying to manifest, but um, not all of you are wide open to receive it. And so that's something that you're gonna wanna be focusing on 
fixing. And so they're saying it's the little details and things. And so um, I would also say if you do head to my blog page, check out on the personal magic section, um, the posts there about manifesting abundance into your life. There's going to be some really good life hacks there that'll help you out. So the best part of the month for you it, they say that's dependent on the choices that you have. For some of you, this is um, your sex life. Honestly, there's a lot of um, sex inferred here <laughs> with these two cards. For some of you, it's passion. Um, for others of you, though, it's about the choices you make as far as facing your challenges go, because you are able to overcome any challenge this month. Um, and so now is a very opportune time to co-create the life that you want. Your biggest challenge for the month is to do a little bit of healing that you have because it's super hard work. It is like give up hard. You know, but a lot of times we have to be able to heal certain things in order to welcome new things in. And so until we clear those, we can manifest, we can use every law of attraction tip in the universe to get what we want. But we, if we don't have the space for it, then we're only a little bit open. Like I said, this is how you wide open up. OK, so um, the guidance for the month for you is that you are a powerful warrior. You can, you can. Those big challenges I said, you can tackle them, okay? And you can ask um, Archangel Ariel to help you stand your ground and be consistent and persistent in achieving what you want. And then the other um, guidance here is to achieve balance, to find balance. And if you can't do that, you can ask your angels for help with that, okay? Virgo, your crystal of the month is aventuring, and there's lots of um, heart opening abilities that it has, plus tons of other shit. You can read about it on my blog in the crystal section. I love you so much, and I will see you next month.